Hi, my name is Dejimar and I work as organic marketing strategist here at Hostinger. And today I will be answering some common questions about AI SEO, as it has been a pretty big topic lately. Let's get started. So the first and most straightforward question, what is AI SEO? AI SEO is all about optimizing your content, your website, and your brand for AI-powered search experiences like ChatGPT, Google's AI Overviews, Google's AI Mode, Perplexity, and others. The big shift here is that unlike traditional SEO, where the goal was to rank on Google's search results page, AI SEO is about getting your content and brand mentioned, cited, or even used directly in AI-generated answers. It is about being discoverable and trusted by AI systems that summarize and synthesize information not just linked to it. And what's the actual difference between AI SEO, GEO, and LLMS? Because it's pretty confusing to me. Yeah, so there is a lot of new acronyms floating around. Uh, SEO professionals are kind of not having an agreement on that. So each acronym means something a bit different. LLM SEO stands for Large Language Model SEO. It focuses on how models like GPT-4 or Gemini find, understand, and cite information. So it is about structuring your content in a way that LLMs can easily use and trust. GEO means Generative Engine Optimization. It is specifically about optimizing for AI tools that generate answers like ChatGPT or Google's AI overviews, rather than showing a list of links. And there are even more like CO, Citation Optimization, AO, Answer Optimization. But the term that I personally prefer is AI SEO. Since I think it is kind of the umbrella term, it covers all terms, the entire shift in how AI is reshaping search and how we need to adapt content and SEO practices for that. So let's say, what should I change in my SEO strategy in this, I mean, new AI era in terms of actual content? Honestly, everything is still evolving, but there are already clear patterns in how AI platforms generate answers. Looking at several case studies, you will want to shift from traditional keyword inclusion in the content to a strategy that prioritizes credibility, clarity, topical depth, and brand presence. This means that your content should answer real questions in a natural and conversational tone. So vague headings in landing pages like just pricing or features are not as helpful anymore. Instead, try questions-based headers like how much does my product cost or what features does my product include. Then follow up with a concise, helpful answer right below the question. And this same principle applies to blog content. So instead of a generic header like solving XY problem, go with something more natural and AI friendly like how can beginners solve XY problem without hiring an expert. So as you can see, uh, this is exactly how we interact with AI tools we type in full questions. So the more your content matches this format of question and answer, the more likely it is to be picked up and used in AI-generated answers. The other thing is to build topical authority instead of just focusing only on keyword density. This is because Google and LLMs reward websites that cover an entire subject deeply and demonstrate expertise, not just content based on random high volume keywords. So for example, if you are targeting a topic like online courses, don't just stop at one general article. To build authority and increase your chances of being featured in AI-generated answers, you will want to create a full content cluster that covers the topic from different angles. For example, you can go with what are online courses and how do they work, how to create and sell your first online course, how much does it cost to build an online course, etc. Okay, so let's say I did change my strategy and I have optimized my content, but it's still not appearing. Why could that be? So there are a few common reasons why your content might not be showing up yet after updates. Uh, it can be that your domain may not be seen as an authority on that topic yet. Uh, AI models tend to favor trusted sources. Your content might be too generic or lacking unique insights and depth or lacking better structure that make it stand out, as I mentioned Q&A. AI models and lang large language models may not have recrawl or index your updated content yet. Sometimes it takes time. Or you might be missing external validation, like citations or backlinks from reputable authoritative sites that signal trustworthiness. So what would you say if you could outline one really important and new and different thing that I should be doing as part of my AI SEO strategy? I would say including Reddit in your strategy. This is not common in terms of SEO, but if we think about it, it is still organic traffic and social search. So I would say this becomes part of what is now AI SEO. More than that, Reddit has become a major content source for both Google and OpenAI. Both companies have licensed Reddit's data 
So that means that thread discussions and even casual brand mentions on Reddit are now feeding into AI-generated answers across AI platforms like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and so on. So if your brand doesn't have a Reddit presence yet, now is the time to change that. The goal is to become part of real and authentic discussions. AI models are trained on this kind of user-generated content, so showing up there increases the chances your brand gets cited in AI answers. So how do I actually build that trust and that authority online that is so needed? So far, for SEO, authority was equal to backlinks and topical coverage. Now, beyond that, it is about becoming a trusted, consistent source of information that AI platforms and real users rely on. So my suggestion would be to work on sharing content with original insights and expert commentary. Don't just repackage what is already out there, publish unique perspectives, industry analysis, or small data stories, even if it is informal. Air mentions from trusted sources. When respected websites, blogs, or creators link to or talk about your brand, that acts as a credibility signal for both Google and AI models. Think about participating in interviews, guest posts, or being cited in articles. Show your credentials. Your about page, author bio, and even a schema markup should clearly communicate who you are, what makes you credible, and why your content can be trusted. And be present where people talk. As I mentioned, AI platforms pull information from online forums and communities. I already mentioned Reddit, but also Quora and LinkedIn are taken into account. So if you are showing up in conversations there, answering questions, offering help, sharing useful tips, that builds both visibility and trust in the AI ecosystem. So, okay, if I do all of that, and how do I actually track if my content is being used in AI searches? So tracking AI-driven traffic is not as straightforward as traditional SEO, but here are some practical ways to keep an eye on it. So you can manually check the AI platforms like ChatGPT, weekly or monthly to see if your website or brand is cited in their answers or summaries. If you want to avoid the manual work, you can use new SEO tools, emerging tools specifically designed to monitor your brand or content mentions within AI-generated prompts and responses. Traditional SEO tools are also evolving. So for example, Ahrefs recently launched their Brand Radar feature, which helps track brand mentions coming from AI platforms. Watch also for initial referral traffic. Sometimes AI search engines provide links and include referral data in the links, so check if you are getting visits from new or unexpected sources. And monitor your direct traffic carefully. Because some AI platforms do not pass referral data, Clicks coming from them may appear as direct traffic in your analytics. So if you see some increase, it might be related to AI platforms. So as an expert in this, what KPIs are you measuring or maybe you would suggest to measure for GEO and are they the same as for SEO? So traditional SEO KPIs like organic traffic and keyword rankings still matter for sure. But for measuring success of AI SEO, I would recommend also tracking citation share how often your URLs are included in AI-generated responses, visibility score, this is how frequently your brand is mentioned across AI answers, brand sentiment, basically understanding how AI is presenting your brand, are there any inaccuracies or negative portrayals that maybe you want to address, and the number of AI overviews your website owns. You can do this with Acuranker or with Ahrefs. And okay, let's be honest here. Do I actually need to apply AI SEO? And also why is generative engine optimization important for my business? I would say yes, absolutely. Even when everything is still evolving, AI SEO is all about future-proofing your brand's visibility. AI platforms and AI agents are increasingly replacing traditional search, especially when users want quick answers, summaries, or product research. If your content is not optimized for AI-driven search experiences, you risk being invisible in these new types of search results, even if your traditional SEO in rankings are strong. So, in other words, AI SEO ensures your brand stays discoverable and trusted as search evolves. And I mean, AI search is really evolving here. And I mean, what is coming next in AI search that uh, maybe most people don't even know much about? That's a good question. Uh, I would mention two big things to watch out for that I noticed uh, recently in different uh, case studies. So, AI agents. Uh, basically, platforms like Google and ChatGPT are evolving into personal assistants and personal shoppers. So they won't just show us answers, they will take actions for us. 
That means websites will need to be ready to support these AI driving interactions like booking, buying, or customizing services on the spot. And the second one is multimodal answers. AI won't just pull text anymore only. You can expect images, videos, charts, and even code snippets to be automatically included in responses. So optimizing your visual and interactive content for AI is becoming just as important as optimizing your writing text. And a really burning question here, is AI search actually going to replace Google completely. So it is hard to give a definitive answer on this one. Uh, AI search for sure is evolving rapidly, but traditional search engines still play a huge role, especially for broader queries, navigation, and diverse content discovery. And they are also adapting to the AI era. So in my opinion, the future will likely be a blend where AI search complements and enhances traditional search. So that's it for today's questions. I hope this gave you a clear review of how AI SEO is shaping the future of search and how we are approaching it here at Hostinger. If you want to stay ahead as AI keeps changing the way we discover, decide, and build on AI, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have more questions about AI SEO, drop them in the comments and I will personally reply to the ones with the most likes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.